Praise God. Nehemiah chapter 4. Everybody there? Anybody there? Hallelujah. Nehemiah chapter 4 and verse 7. Now it happened when Sambalit, Tobiah, and the Arabs, the Ammonites, and the Ashtarites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were being restored and the gaps were beginning to be closed that they became very angry. In other words, they would not have access. And all of them conspired again together to come and attack Jerusalem and create confusion. Nevertheless, we made our prayer to our God and because of them we set a watch against them day and night. Then Judah said, the strength of the laborers is failing and there is so much rubbish that we are not able to build the wall. And our adversary said, they will neither know nor see anything till we come into their midst and kill them and cause the work to cease. So it was when the Jews who dwelt near them came that they told us ten times from whatever place you turn, they will be upon us. Therefore I positioned, say what, positioned, men behind the lower parts of the wall at the openings and I set the people according to their families with their swords, their spears, and their bows. And I looked in a row to and said to the nobles and to the elders and to the rest of the people, do not be afraid of them. Remember the Lord great and awesome and fight for your brethren, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your houses. And it happened when our enemies heard that it was known to us and that God had brought their plot to nothing that all of us returned to the wall, everyone to his work. So it was from that time on that half of my servants worked on construction while the other half held the spears and the shields and the bows and wore, wore, wore armor and the leaders were behind all the house of Judah. Those who built on the wall and those who carried burdens loaded themselves so that with one hand they worked at construction and with the other held a what? Weapon. Hello. They were not going to be distracted. They were not only building, but one hand they were holding something for construction, and the other hand they were holding a weapon. That's called multitask. Because you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen? See, we cannot lay down those weapons either or ignore what's going on while we are busy doing something else. We cannot lose sight that there is a battle and the enemy wants to get you into an emotional state of being so you turn over your weapons and don't fight. Does everybody got it? Is everybody okay? Hallelujah. Building the house of God as a body of Christ must continue with liberating not only the people that have been taken captive, but liberating the weapons of God that have been taken. Amen? And I want to close at 1 Peter 4. 1 Peter 4. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, and glory. First Peter four, chapter se uh, verse seven. Is everybody there? But the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be what serious and watchful in your prayers. And above all, have fervent love for one another, for love will cover a multitude of sins. 
Be hospitable to one another without grumbling. As each one has received a gift, minister to one another as a good steward of the manifold grace of God. If anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. If anyone ministers, let him do it as with the ability which God supplies, that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belong the glory and dominion forever and ever. Beloved, do not think it strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened to you. But rejoice to the extent that you are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when he is glor his glory is revealed, you may also be glad with exceeding joy. If you are reproached or insulted, hello, for the name of Christ, blessed are you. For the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. On their part, he is blasphemed, but on your part, he's glorified. Let none of you suffer as a murderer, a thief, an evildoer, or as a busybody in other people's matters. Yet if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in, his, in this matter. For the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God, and if it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? Now if the righteous one is scarcely saved, where will the ungodly and the sinner appear? Therefore, let those who suffer according to the will of God commit their souls to him in doing good as to a faithful creator. Now, again, I want to share with you that there is a war going on. Amen? And in this, we are liberating the weapons of God. And by liberating the weapons of God, many people have been taken captive or many people have just surrendered their weapons and then been taken captive. You cannot be taken in captivity without surrendering your weapons. Does everybody understand that? Amen. And in this war that's happening, I have been led to hand out prayers tonight, but I want you to repeat this prayer first and then pick it up on the way out. Because there's some damage that we have to do to the kingdom of darkness. Amen. And I believe that um, I've already seen many things happen with these prayers already. So would everybody repeat after me, Holy Father, I take my authority in the name of Jesus the Christ. And I ask that you would destroy every organization, terrorist cell group, and government globally that is coming against your will, and persecuting your people. I ask also that you would destroy every Ponzi scheme, drug, human, and weapon smuggling organization, prostitution, pornography, and sodomite organizations, including all high places of Satan's altars, Globally, I call destructive fire down on all their gathering locations, propaganda, websites, media, communications, storehouses, and all financial support systems, bringing confusion into the enemy's camp and severing all financial support, communications, websites, gatherings, and agendas of any further operation in Jesus the Christ's name. I also loose all those that have been taken captive to the deception of these demonic influences in the name of Jesus. And everybody said... To God be the glory, pick this prayer up on the way out.